Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many .NET Core developers encounter. Our viewer has implemented a custom authentication middleware and handler, and while everything seems to be working smoothly, there's a snag. They've overridden the handle unauthorized async method to redirect users to the login page, but it's not being called. Instead, the browser is simply receiving a 401 unauthorized response. So, what's going wrong in the pipeline? Let's dive in and explore this question together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's address the issue with your overridden handle unauthorized async not being called. First, it's important to understand the authentication pipeline in ASP.NET Core. When a request is made, the authentication middleware checks if the user is authenticated. If not, it typically returns a 401 unauthorized response. Your handle unauthorized async method is designed to handle unauthorized responses. However, it will only be called if the authentication middleware does not return a 401 response directly. To ensure your handle unauthorized async is invoked, you may need to adjust your authentication logic. Consider using the challenge method instead of returning a 401 directly. Finally, make sure your middleware is correctly registered in the startup class. The order of middleware registration is crucial in ASP.NET Core. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user found a solution for the issue with handle unauthorized async not being called. They improved the setup by not needing to specify the authentication scheme in the authorize attribute. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with handle unauthorized async not being called in .NET Core, check your middleware order. Ensure that app.use authentication comes before app.use authorization. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.